So in this video, I'm going to make the database for our web application. So go to localhost slash php my admin. Now go to the forum database. And now I'm going to create a table named users. Remember that table names are always plural. So that's users. Number of columns, seven, go. First column would be for ID. And then username. And then password. Then full name. Then role. Our users table will have the role column because our users could be of many types like admins, regular users, etc. Burn is for created and find the modified. ID length would be 8, username would be Varkar, this would be around 20 characters. Password would also be worker and let's specify this to 50. Full name worker and length 100 characters. Rule could be a tiny int, so we'll specify one for admin, two for regular users. Created would be a date time. similar for modified and our id would be incremented automatically and this would be a primary key so i'm saving this so now let's create another table for our topics and this will have five columns First would be ID and then user ID so that we can know that which user has created this topic. Next title, then again created and modified. ID would be 8 characters long, user ID would also be 8 characters long. Title would be a worker, max 100 characters. Query would be a date time. Modifier will also be a date time. Now let's set ID as primary key and our increment and then save. And then we create another table for posts. And this will have six columns. Go post one for ID and then topic ID, then user ID. Then we'll have our body. Then again, create it and finally modify it. ID would be 8 characters long, topic ID would also be 8 characters long, user ID would also be 8 characters long, body would be of type text, created would be a date time, and modified would also be a date time. And then set our ID as primary key and our increment. And let's save this. So as of now we have three tables and and I'm also going to make one change in topics so go to structure and I'm adding a new column after the title so click go and this will be for 
visible. So this would be a tiny int having of length one one for visible two for hidden and we will use this column for the admin section so that the admin can make any topic visible or hidden so click save and we have added our database so let's work upon the models in our cake php application